has been reduced. Now it's more in line with this wind, which was still having too much up before because it was giving positive lift on the tail and he had to fight with the elevator. So um, if you have a, a lift curve slope and you... Um, this is just practice, sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, supposing you have a symmetrical section, it's like uh -huh. this. Okay, now a cambered section shifts this whole curve up here. And so the angle of attack for zero lift is yeah. out here in the negative direction. This is zero, and this is plus, and this is lift coefficient. Yeah, I, so, I agree with all that. Mm -hmm. but the only thing I'm saying is that if we do this, mm -hmm. uh, we have um, uh, Now you drop the camber the, line down. Now it's coming down like this. That's your new camber line. Yeah. Oh, I see. You're still and, talking about doing this. And now it's it's so nicely lined up. You see, it's producing its design, uh, the design CL of a cambered section, and we're combating yeah. it by reversing the nose camber. Dan. Yeah, but we're what working it looks on like the wrong is, is is that uh, when we when we fill in the nose one way or the other, mm -hmm. this way or this way. This way we get what we're after mm -hmm. in one effect that uh, now we instead of symmetric we got cameras some more down low, mm -hmm. but we've changed this angle a few degrees so we're losing. So what we need change to do what angle though? This uh, one. the uh, essentially we've changed the pitch angle of the airfoil. That we had a symmetric the airfoil's fast in the fuselage, it's not changing. No, but, oh, but oh, you're yeah, moving but the stagnation you're point. Moving, so. yeah, you're, you're moving the stagnation point. So this this angle here with the wind, instead of like here, since we've moved the stagnation point up to here, it's now like oh, that, right. so that we've, to me, it looks like we've done the same thing as keeping a symmetric foil and tipped it slightly, and that these two effects are going into opposing each other so that we have to figure out which effect is greater to know whether to lump the extra putty on the top or the bottom to get what yes. we're after. I, I agree. I, uh, I understand that. Oh, oh, this angle. Is, is my, we, I might not understand something about this angle. Okay, so here is a uh, cement, uh, symmetric. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so uh, here is the wind. Slight angle of attack. Slight angle of attack on a symmetric mm -hmm. thing. Uh, the stagnation point would be maybe slightly below here. Mm -hmm. Now our second effect. Okay, so now what I'm if doing. If you want to picture this as a Mm -hmm. it, just as a, for simplicity, as a mm -hmm. flat plate mm -hmm. with an angle, we got that. Mm -hmm. Okay, second case, we uh, we lump the top like we were thinking. If you want to increase the lift of that flat plate at this angle of attack, what you do is bend bend the nose down to line up with the wind, and boy, now you've got a good lifting surface. That's what you don't want. So you bend it the other way to kill the lift. That's why you got to do it up here. Um, well, but we don't want to kill lift. We want more lift. No, no, we want you, well, uh, upside down, down lift, yeah. you, but you don't want a positive lift. No. You want to kill the slight positive lift you've got. Yeah. And to do that, you've got to uh, put this reverse camber in it. Mm -hmm. And that shifts that curve over. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple different ways to look at it. I looked at it in terms of negative angle of attack for zero lift. One way, and the other way is just say, okay, this is one way to, to kill some of that lift off. Mm -hmm. So you have to put it on top if you're going to do just the leading edge one. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can show you an article where they change the leading edge so you know about how to do it without mm -hmm. increasing the profile drag of the, of the surface too, mm -hmm. too much. Yeah. No, it's got to be on top. No, so if I add on top, that's going to be... <laughs> All right, I have a few other people, though, uh, yeah, before down. you do well, it. Well, yeah. But, uh, I don't rush into okay. things, mm -hmm. especially... Uh, yeah. I'm um, basically lazy, Bruce. Yeah, so right. I don't want to have to do anything mm -hmm. twice. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that'll save you a lot of work, yeah. rather, than, oh. rather than cambering the whole thing. See, you're putting negative camber in, but you're putting it all at the leading edge here. The other way, you're putting it on the whole airfoil. Yeah. But you're, it's negative camber yep. both ways. Yep. So this is a, a, a lazy man's way to try yeah. to get it without well, that's my, your just my, yeah. that's my, my... Do you see that, Doug, that this is a special case of his negative camber on the whole, re revising the whole symmetrical section to a negative camber? Well, but I think what it's Doug is saying at the edge. is that uh, the, both of these things are doing, don't let me put words in your mouth here, but this is in, is putting negative camber in if I do this. Yeah. And this little modification is also putting in negative camber. Mm -hmm. But what you're saying is that this business is also reducing the um, angle of uh, 
uh, the if it moves angle of the attack. stagnation point, it, it would change effectively change but, the angle of attack. But that is the opposite effect. That's, that's uh, why it works, uh, because you're, you've got the stagnation point up here and now, and now the wind's coming down here, and so it's like a cambered airflow. See, it's it's um, it's um, upside down. <laughs> and we want more of this, and we're going. We move. If we effectively move that up like this, and we're going, we're going up instead of down, are we? It sure looks like it to me. Then no. I'm sticking with you. Okay, and okay. You're making sense. Say to one me. more time now. Okay, we, this is this arrow is what we're after. Mm -hmm. Download. Okay, now we've we've. Uh, Maybe well, let's, let's take the, the plate. The plate it. is the way to do it. You got a flat plate. This makes me so a nervous. slight <laughs> angle of attack. <laughs> now, if, now, if if we got some burbling here, you know, we're getting some lift, but uh -huh. uh, but not nearly what we could get if it was a curved plate. If we curve the nose down to meet the wind, uh -huh. now we we really have got some lift on this. Thing. Uh huh. So if you curve it the other way, obviously you have less lift. That's simple. Uh -huh. Just he was going to camber the whole airfoil, okay? right. and uh, on the leading edge he would have this inverted camber uh -huh. as part of it. All I'm saying is let's just do the inverted camber on the nose of the airfoil instead right. of doing all that work. That's simple. It's a very simple way to look at it. That's correct. <laughs> yeah, pretty, uh, so uh, if we add it to the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then that now your gives, camera, gives it's like an inverted airfoil. Now. Right. And that gives a download. Right. It's not as effective as, as making the whole thing inverted. Uh -huh. Not the whole camera line inverted, but it's made the important part of the nose inverted. Okay, so you're saying now we've got Some this shape, mm -hmm. and the wind is now uh, there's more. a speed up around the bottom. Uh huh. But uh, but the, this adding material in here, and hence moving the stagnation point up. And now the flow, of the stagnation is up and now it accelerates like mad around the bottom and that gives the download. Uh-huh. And that uh, a uh, uh, okay and and that uh, another way of looking at it, looking for that in the stagnation point. Yeah. So it's uh, okay. So so that uh, this acceleration gives and, and that negative gives, pressure that's going to give more download. Mm -hmm. And in no way is that going to have the same effect as tipping the whole thing. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Which would be the opposite of what we're yeah, after. Because you haven't tipped the whole thing. It's locked to the damn airplane, and this flow angle is locked. And all we're doing is changing the accommodation of the uh -huh. airflow to that. Uh huh. So mm -hmm. What I kept trying to see here, and I guess it's not a a valid mm -hmm. thing, is that this average line, whereas if you're going to visualize the horizontal tail as a flat mm -hmm. plate, mm -hmm. was actually tipping up, but that's not what, you know, that's you've not a legitimate the, way of... You change the, the mean line of the airfoil in the same way you would change it if you would just fatten up the bottom all the way. Gotcha. But gotcha. you haven't done it the whole length, you've just done it at the nose for simplicity. Mike, I'm wrong, he's got it right. I've got him convinced by it. We had to look at it about three or four different ways. Well, I was so like, sorry, go get me hooked up with you again. <laughs> No, that's good. Uh, very useful uh, because you know I can get things backwards too if uh, it's at all possible. So, but um, see, he said, but the stagnation point is moving up, and I says yes, and that's why it works because the stagnation point is up here, and the flow has to go from the stagnation around both surfaces. It makes it around this one real easy. This one has got to accelerate like mad, pulling high negative pressures mm. and pulling down. Mm. And that's so it's another way to look at it. Okay. But the simplest way is if you were just going to take a symmetrical section that was thinner here like this, mm -hmm. and you fatten the bottom to make it now cambered, mm -hmm. inverted cambered, the whole thing is accelerating flow around here and pulling down load. I'm trying to do it for you with a, a simpler piece. Yeah, yeah. And now you have almost like a flat bottom here. You got a, a lot of camber from that stagnation mm -hmm. around here, mm -hmm. and it pulls down. Not as much as this well, one, but okay. enough. What yeah. I was visualizing here is is this change in angle. Is this not legit? It's mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, because from everything here on back, this this uh, if you're going to visualize the horizontal tail as a flat plate, it's exactly the same. And the mm -hmm. only thing that's changed is the stagnation point, yeah. which mm -hmm. makes this longer path, which is. Mm -hmm. More down, which is exactly what we want. Yeah. So, well, I um, the reason I agreed with you, Doug, is that uh, is that what you can is what you see here. The 
is uh, one way of doing it is the way I suggested, and the other way is the way you suggested. And if you look at this, the mean line that we get out of this, you get, uh, I'm exaggerating here, yeah. and the mean line you get out of this would be, right. and mm -hmm. this one has more angle of attack in the direction we're looking for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is that is that what you were seeing too? Um, which but, one? Well, this this mean this mean line off of here is the mean line that you would get by by doing this. By doing yeah. this. And this mean line up mm -hmm. here is the mean line that you would get from doing yeah. this. And what it does as far as negative lift is concerned, it concentrates more of it at the nose. Yeah. And it has less, doesn't have any back here, whereas this one spreads it out over the airfoil a little better. Yeah. But this is a lot less work and you I bet. it'll do it beautifully. You bet. And I'll show you some diagrams of how you, how you might fare that in. So I'm basically defending you a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I don't I'm not yeah. trying to stir this back up again now, but no, do you do you I've see what I'm saying there? Yeah, I've got a gap in my style. Mm. I might have him reconvinced you. You may have to work uh, on it. No, you convinced him in my way okay. that, that this is, is also giving you this inverted airflow yeah. and it's doing it all toward the front end. Yeah. And it's just a different case of, of inverting the airflow.